So today on Red Dwarf Model Reviews, we're looking at the Starbug playset. So you can just see them side by side now. You can see the lovely detail in the paintwork here. They have the antennas, they have the, the glass at the front. I think it's, it's a very good reenactment of it. I think the legs are a little bit longer in the playset, but I think that's fine. You know, you can't expect Everton to be absolutely perfect. You see the exhaust at the back there. Everton's looking really well. So just to check out the back end of the Starbug playset, um, you can see on screen just coming into shot now. We can just match the two of them up there. I think this is probably the only um, unaccurate, inaccurate part of the playset. I think the engines dominate the back here too much. It kind of takes up half the section where it doesn't on screen. Um, the bottom halves kind of match up a bit, but um, I think the engines could have been a bit smaller. But apart from that, I think the playset is the rest of the place says very accurate and very good indeed. So the model works very well as a model and it also doubles up as a playset. We can open up here. I can see the crew in very detailed areas of the ship. So just take a look at the figures up close. I think each figure captures the character pretty well. Rimmer salute, quite an ooh. Lister with the drink, cat just looking cool. <laughs> I'd say Lister's my favourite here. I don't know, maybe that's because I like Lister. Um, they are articulated, meaning they do move. They move at the waist, and that's about all they do move. Just up and down. They can mean they're quite tricky to set up sometimes. They do fall over a lot, especially Rimmer, because um, he has his weight leaning forward with his salute. So getting back to the ship and its interior again. A quick detailed look here now. And there's the dashboard. Starbucks doing pretty well. We have you know some of the props, the guitar, the case. Um, talkie toaster is here. I think that's a great, great idea. And it's a bit interactive actually, Talkie Toaster. It has a bit of toast in them, so once you press it down, Holly pops up there at the back. There is um you get this with it. Let's see. And kind of keep them up, press it down, you press that in and Holly stays there all the time. That's very well done. Um, looking at the other scenes, or the other, uh, the other areas, here we go, we have the, the laundry room, Mr. Socks there, fantastic. And then the bunk, of course, you know, a lot of good comedy comes from the bunk. I do have a little uh, Annoyance with this, which is the figures don't really fit in them. Yeah, but like you know, that's as much as they go. That's not too bad. But um, apart from that, very well done again. So unfortunately, there's a few things that don't have with it to show you here. I can show you a picture of the packaging though online. You can see here it's very well packaged. Uh, lots of uh, details shown. You can see everything there. Um, this button here. It's supposed to give, when you press it, you hear a quote from the show, some good quotes. Uh, Smoke me kipper, I'll step up to blue alert, changing the bulb kind of gags going on. Uh, fortunately I bought it like this, I think a lot too many people tried it in the shop and I wore it the batteries and it doesn't work there. A lot of people that were talking online said theirs don't work either or it's very slow. Some of the quotes sound very slow coming out of it so it's kind of like slow motion. And then fortunately just a couple of weeks ago, um, I lost the kind of missile probe that comes out of the bottom here. It slots in there. There's a little firing gun here. Each time you hit that, it fires out. And it fired out at quite a strong pace. So that concludes the Red Dwarf Starbug playset. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you do see it on eBay, I'd recommend buying it because it's saying it's my favourite model. Alright, thanks for watching.